guys welcome back to my channel it's Aish here again I hope you're having a great day um, in a couple of days I'll be posting my um, make out 2013 and how I went and um, previously I'd mentioned that um, people be interested in hearing my thoughts on when you're doing a no buy a low buy um, a make out 2013 and finish what you started or just a project where you're trying to downsize but also use up your products um, and yeah and people said yep would be inter interested to hear your thoughts so here, here are my thoughts firstly if you're looking to do something in 2014 there are certain things that I think it's it's important that you do do and um, I actually j quickly jotted up some notes so you'll see me referring down to here and firstly is you need to decide and this is like anything like whether you want to stop smoking um, get more exercise in your life eat more healthily is do you want to do it or do you think you should be doing it um, there is a difference because if you think you should be doing it you're probably not going to last long and if you want to do it it's not enough to want to do it you actually have to decide to do it because once you decide to do it you work out a plan of action in order to get there also go through your collection what do you have multiples of what do you have dupes of what's expired what's due to expire um, and what's been what what haven't you given enough love to and why haven't you so separate them out if they're expired obviously throw them away if they're due to expire put them in your make out 2014 or whatever project you're doing in 2014 and use it up so at least you're um getting some value for money for your products i'm really guilty of not doing that you guys will um know from a previous post but i do recommend um, that you do when you're that. choosing products Choose a variety of products, colors, textures. Don't choose, um, you know, all matte shadows if you like wearing shimmer or don't you choose all matte lipsticks. If, you know, choose a range. Don't choose 10 lipsticks. Maybe choose three lip butters and two lip glosses and five lipsticks or something like that. Um, also choose a whole bunch of samples and products that are all, like I said, and products that are almost finished. This gives you motivation and keeps you motivated, like, keeps you motivated this just keeps the motivation going um, because you're actually finishing up items so I do recommend them I don't think that you have to use full-size products what I do actually think though is that products that you put in your make out um, 2014 or your project panel whatever you're calling it I'm going to just call it project 214 for now on um, whatever your products look to put products in there that you're not necessarily going to replace with the exact item um, I do I have put products that I will replace but they have they have been few and far between so out of the 199 there would have been less than 20 that I would specifically replace it with the exact same item give it this is the obvious giveaway sell or throwaway items also look at your stash size do you think it's an issue don't compare yourself to others you may have more than others you may have less than others you may have exactly the same amount of others as others this the size of your makeup or the amount of makeup you have depends on what you are comfortable with and what you enjoy to have around so it's not about comparing yourself to the Joneses also look at everything that you have and write them down count them I'm actually doing that at the moment because I'm a data nerd so I'm writing all the stuff that I've got and those black things means that I'm actually banned from buying them I haven't finished this yet but yeah it's giving me slight heart palpitations but um, even though I think my stash size is big, I'm not hugely uncomfortable with my makeup stuff. A lot of those black items are like hair or products and that stuff. Now the stuff. next comment I'm going to make is probably something that might piss off some people, but I'm just talking from the heart. And I, this is one of the, you know, I underline bolds on my notes. Um, remember, and I see comments like this on various people's channels and it, it's in a way it sort of frustrates me. And I know that I've had um, a few um comments like that on my channel too everybody has their own budget their own income and their own expenditure as well we shouldn't feel the need to question others and what they spend their money on if you don't like hauls don't watch hauls and remember like especially the younger viewers if younger, younger viewers ask a lot of the time they'll ask where do you find the money for this one is we actually don't ask people how they spend their money in real life so i don't think we should do it in in the comfort of our living rooms on a keyboard so apologies if that offends you but secondly I have 25 years work experience over a 15 year old so 
what I've spent my money on, where I've saved my money, that sort of, I've had 25 years of income. So if I buy a Chanel lipstick now, I, I used to be a drugstore hoe. So don't, don't worry whether you can afford a Chanel lipstick. There are beautiful drugstore products, mascaras for one thing. There's a lot of great foundations. Don't stress yourself if somebody buys a high-end product. That's why we show swatches because one, you can look whether you've got something similar. And two, you can say, well, I actually really like that color, but I cannot really afford paying, I don't know, how much is a lip Chanel lipstick now? 55 bucks here in Australia. I can't afford to buy your $55 lipstick. I'm going to go and play around in Priceline and see if I can find something that's similar because it's a really nice shade. A lot shade. of bloggers and vloggers will also talk about similar colors and have a look at that. Go on to Temptalia. She has a fantastic swatch gallery and you can actually have a look at... Um, hopefully she's already swatched the lipstick or the eyeshadow that you want and she'll also recommend some dupes or you can go through the gallery and see if there's any colors that are similar i had real problems talking about that one i just there's just something about um yeah i don't know sometimes people ask when they ask oh where do you get the money from for all of that i mean we don't have money trees we just choose to spend our money where we want to spend it oh, i did that thing didn't i but anyway going on happy thoughts happy thoughts adding to your stash as you guys know, I have no problems adding to my stash, even though I was doing Project 199. If I really want it, I'm going to buy it. But what I was doing this year, as well as probably also last year, was really thinking about products that I want to buy, especially in that high, mid to high end category. In the drugstore ones, yep, I'm prone to buy something that's on special because it's on special and I want it. But for that higher end stuff, I really think about the products that I want to um, buy. I'll do my ho the homework. I'll swatch. Sometimes, if I'm not sure, I'll walk away. That sort of stuff. Swatch again. There are products that I've swatched multiple times before. I've gone, yeah, I am willing to actually spend fifty bucks on that and buy it. So, um, if it's a new product, don't feel like you need to buy the whole color range. If you're not a blogger or a vlogger, you don't need it. Just buy one. See if you like the formulation, and then. And as I items. mentioned, read reviews and also look who's reviewing the product, especially foundations and hair care I, I see a lot as well, and skin care. I don't understand why um, you would purchase, like for instance, I've got oily combination skin, I've got aging skin. If I talk about a product and you're 15, my skin is very different to yours. So if I'm saying I'm loving a foundation, it might not suit you. So rather than buy the product, see if you can get a sample. There are YouTubers that I absolutely love here on YouTube, but they've got dry skin. Whatever works on their face is not going to work on my face. So for face products, for those sorts of products, I do actually look for YouTubers who do have a similar skin type to mine. But obviously, you know, when it comes to eyeshadows and lipsticks and all that, it doesn't and really one, matter. And one thing that I wish I could do here, but I know that um, especially in the US, you, can, you guys can do this. If it doesn't work for you, return the item. Get your money back, exchange it for another color, exchange it for another item, and get samples. Samples, samples, samples. If you can get samples, get them before you buy them, especially here in Australia. Although here the essays tend to hold samples like as if it's some sort of magical, you know, no, you can't have those samples. I look down on you. You need to buy the full product. But yeah, if you can get samples, get samples. I only in cash. You don't really want to pay interest on makeup. So pay only in cash, remove all your credit cards from your PayPal account, any sort of online shopping account. And this is for people who think they've got a problem with their shopping. Remove all them so you can only actually direct debit out of your bank account. And that's going to stop you. Now, if you want the points, fair enough, but maybe put the money into your, into your um, credit card first and then actually make the payment for that makeup item and that way you've already paid for it but you're getting the points for anyway. drugstore items I only ever buy them when on, when on sale I mean there's probably one or two brands that rarely go on sale here in Australia but otherwise wait for the sale if it's not on sale this week it's going to be on sale next week if it's not on sale at Priceline it's going to be in sale, on sale at Target just wait for a sale it's going to happen if you can look at how much money you've spent for the previous year and that way you can work out what sort of budget you want for the following year I know exactly where my money goes I you know I'm a single income I've got a mortgage you know that sort of stuff so I know where all my money goes and I know how much money I spent on makeup 
for the last few years and I know how much money I've spent on makeup this year. So keep a track of it, whether it's a three month, you know, you look at your accounts for three months, six months or a year. Have a look. It might not be exact because you might have paid for some things directly with cash and not through your debit or credit card, but at least you'll get a roundabout um, In relation to adding to your stash, you might want to set a dollar limit. No buys don't work for me. Can I just say that? No buy will not work for me. I've done it. It was excruciating. I was miserable. And all a no buy does is prolong that shopping spree. I'm absolutely am a believer of that so I don't think no buys work so set yourself a dollar limit so that dollar limit might translate to weekly or monthly limits it's up to you so budget and then just for general things I think you should have a savings plan that's not makeup related you've got a savings plan that you put a few dollars every week whether it's five dollars a week you know that's going to translate to a bit of money at the end of the year and just get into the head of habit of saving that is not makeup related and it's towards your life whether it's a holiday um, you know or you know car or even the registration for next year for your car or something like that but have a savings plan that's your rainy day money also with buying you might want them to look into I know that the US has Mr. Rebates and Ebates in Australia we have excuse me while I'm scratching and excuse me while I say that I'm scratching um, we've got starthere.com.au I don't know how these sites make money and I don't really care but I do use Start here and um, basically what it is is they are affiliated with a whole bunch of companies and if you log on to that website first and then log on to the store or e-store that you want to purchase from through their site, you get cash back. So I booked my holiday this year through because Expedia is, um, I can do Start here for Expedia. Priceline, um, ASOS, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Strawberry Net. There's a whole bunch of sites, and I know I haven't looked at the US overseas sites, but um, I know that people talk about Sephora and all that sort of stuff as well. And um, yeah, so maybe register with one of those, and that way when you make a purchase, you're getting a few cents back at the same time. I'll put my link below and also in relation to spending and saving I actually do the 52 week challenge and if you guys want me to talk about the 52 week challenge actually I might just do another video on the 52 week challenges separately um, it's a great savings plan I love it it's awesome and um, yep so to me don't worry about spending you need to also get into the habit of saving and that's not makeup related it's just you got in relation it. to finishing items once a week once a month or one week a month use what you want ignore whatever you need to finish and just use what you want or just just use a few of the products daily so it might be that you're trying to finish um, a mascara and a foundation maybe just use those two and but you've got a lipstick and an eyeshadow maybe just make sure just use a foundation and the mascara for a while and then switch it out or something like that don't stress about that that this makeup basket is the only thing that I can use and I'm going to ignore everything else that I've spent money on and let them all go bad. Don't, just enjoy your makeup. Enjoy your makeup. So have free days, free weeks or even a, a month. If it really doesn't don't work it. for you, get rid of it. Um, if you, you know, like I know that some products this year I've just got, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm going to hurl if I use this product again. So if it doesn't work for you, if it breaks you out, if it smells bad, if it's expired and you didn't realize when you started Project Pan, throw it away. Cross it off your list. One done. Don't worry about it. Don't stress and about then, it. And then, because I am a data nerd or um, a list nerd, I do actually have two lists. Now, these, this is sort of what I've started for next year, but um, it's not all finalised because I haven't, and I probably won't finalise it until probably the end of Jan. But I've listed all the products, the amount of products that I want to use up um, and what those products are. And then I've also, I'm just actually going to keep tabs of what I've purchased for 2014 what I've used up in total as well um, yeah so I, I, I use this this year something similar and um, it just gives a pretty much an indication on the spot where I um, see immediately what I've used and what I've used up because it's important to remember what you've used up to because we a lot of the time we concentrate on oh, I've got 20 products to use up but I've only used one well You've got 20 products used up and you've used one. Yay! You know, just change your attitude. So I do have one of these. And then 
and I actually keep it on, obviously I keep it on the computer, but I've actually got one stuck in my bathroom and that's why it's the brown tones because I've got like a 90s brown bathroom. And the other one I do is a list of products that I actually want to use during the month. So for January, again, these are all going to change, but I've said that I want to use my NARS foundation 11 times. So, you know, or um, I want to use my Benefit High Beam six times during the year you know um, during the month so and that way I just cross it off as I'm going along and this just reminds me of products that I probably necessarily don't necessarily pick up that's why I've chosen to put them in my um, make out 2013 you know list and this worked fantastically for me this year so love doing that so make a list and then I've just got numbers on it and I just cross them all off those of us are on YouTube, you know, we talk about our empties on um, on here so we can always watch back on them. I posted my year of empties um, earlier um, in January this year. You don't have to do that. It's actually disgusting keeping your products. Trust me, it kills me. But take photos of it, pin it on a board or just, you know, if you've got a smartphone or even a normal, because in smartphones you can put um, albums. Whenever you finish a product, put it into that album so you can actually see in that album how many products you've finished up. You can, you know, pin it on a board, do something, but um, that way you can remember that you've actually gone through all of these products and make it individual photographs. For that one sachet sample, take a photo of it. Stick, it doesn't cost money, it's in your phone. And it's and always remember, with for you. those of you who watch um, my empties videos or anybody else's empties videos, this is, well, firstly, the empties videos are more like mini review videos more than just showing you how much products I've finished up. But um, remember, you know, if I show, like, I, I post every couple of weeks because I make really long videos, but, um, you know, we didn't start and finish the product within the same month or the same two weeks. It takes us a whole, you know, it's whenever we've opened it till that date. So don't stress if you've opened up a cleanser in January and you're still using it in March. Well, Guaranteed, hopefully by June, it's going to be done. Don't stress about it. Everything, all products take time. And when you finish an item, and this is one thing that I did this year that I really recommend that everybody does, is when you finish an item, put a dollar, put a dollar amount um, in a money box or a savings account or somewhere, somewhere separate. You can use that money to buy high-end products. It doesn't really worry me or, you know, because it's your life. I'm not going to control you. Um... Yeah, and that that way, like, if you set aside that you want to finish 50 products that year and all you want to do is put two bucks, so that's $100, and you can buy that Tom Ford quad that you've always wanted that you thought you could never afford and you normally wouldn't, you know, think about withdrawing $100 out of your savings account to buy. So, I don't know how much Tom Ford quad is now, but, you know... Do that. I really, really, really like that aspect of my Makeout 2013. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have lasted that long had I not you done know, that. And we might often, we'll, you know, some people will say, well, I can't really afford a MAC lipstick. Um, so I'll buy a Revlon dupe or a Rimmel dupe. So what we end up doing is buying a Revlon dupe, a Maybelline dupe, a Rimmel dupe. And the price of all three of those is going to pay for a MAC lipstick anyway. So, um, you know, Think about it, maybe set that money aside and then when you've got a little bit more money, put that aside and that way you can buy the higher end lipstick that you always wanted rather than having five dupes that cost the same amount as the high end lipstick in the end anyway. And lastly, I actually specifically wrote this down so I need to read it out to you. It's not, um, I just want to make sure that I read it right. Don't listen to me. Make your own rules, make your own guidelines. Make rules that will push or restrict you, but you won't be tempted to break them. So, yeah, you know, people, a lot of people started Make Out 2013 and did exactly what Pink So Foxy Christine did. Um, I watched her video going, yep, I want to do something, but I'm not doing what you did, but I'm, you know, I've got to do something. Other people said, yeah, I'm going to follow her to a T and basically by May, a lot of people had stopped doing it. It's make your own rules, make your own guidelines, but do something that's not easy and not so difficult. If a no buy, if you're an all or nothing sort of person, then maybe a no buy does work for you. I just don't think they work at all. So that's why I won't do it. But what I will do is say for the next two weeks, I'm not buying anything. Just set your own rules. Don't listen to me. Seriously. <laughs> Lastly, remember guys, it's makeup. It washes off. It's supposed to be fun. Don't make it a chore. Okay, take care.
and I'll see you next time. Ciao.